Hi, Scorpio. All right, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your You versus Them February reading. All right, guys, so you and Cancer are last. No reason for that at all. Literally no reason for that. I just wrote down the signs, how they came, you know, to my mind. And I put all the water signs last. I don't know why. I really don't know why. But I think there's a reason why you guys are finishing off last. And I know you guys have been waiting. Well, some of you, not all of you. Some of you guys are like, <laughs> we just got here. Like, is this not a good place to be? It's a great place to be. But yeah, um, some of you guys have been waiting. Literally, I couldn't, I couldn't film in front of light because my eye, I scratched it. And so it doesn't look red on camera, but this eye is definitely more red than this one because I scratched my eye and it's just now healing back. Not perfectly, but it's doing good. All right, so we're going to get started and um, we're going to do these. And then after we do these, we're going to do a really fun reading on my channel. I just feel like we need to lighten up the mood a little bit. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. If I can get to it tonight, because it's literally you and cancer, we'll get to it tonight. But if not, that's OK. We'll get into it next um, week sometime, like Monday, Tuesday. OK, um, also, I just um, released a whole bunch of smudges on my website. If you haven't been on my website, dreamtarot.store, go there because not only do you have um, my products on there, you also have my services if you want a reading. And also you can read a little bit about me if you want to. Just, you know, get yourself welcome to the community. Not only did I drop a whole bunch of smudges in Palo Santo and sage and all of that good stuff, white sage, I have um, a cedar smudge that I put um, cinnamon and um, orange you can go check that out. Also just dropped a smokeless smudge and this is the Palo Santo and um, White Sage Energy Clearing Spray. And as you see, you can see the real Palo Santo and the sage in there. Um, and it smells amazing, guys. So it's not just going to smell like when you burn. It's smokeless. So it's not going to have that burnt smell. You can spray it anywhere. And I also put um, a blend of some therapeutic essential oils um in the you know in the bottle and it smells amazing so i'm gonna spray it right now sorry i can't get my words out today it's like i'm learning how to speak in front of the camera all over again since i've been gone for a while okay this smells amazing i love spraying it you can spray it anywhere in your car if you go to your um stepmom's house <laughs> If you go to your stepmom's house, your mother-in-law's house, if you go to the office, if you go to school, if you're at work, you could spray it. If your boss is being a bitch to you, you can literally spray it as they're walking. No one will know that you just smudged their ass, okay? <laughs> All right, I gotta stop. All right, let's get started. Let's get started. Scorp, let's get started. So first, we're gonna see your overall energy and your person's overall energy, okay? So Spirit, what is Scorpio's... Um, overall energy the month of February. What's going on here? Hold on. All right. All right. Gallus is playing for you. So I'm not into the new song Gallus. And I know some of y'all are going to cancel me right away. I know people love that song. That song was like popping when it dropped. But I'm a real Jamaican. And the only Gallus I know is the original. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, someone definitely, you're like a player. In February, Scorpio, okay, for this to be playing for you, you have a lot of options and a lot of people are hoping you pick me. You have a lot of pick me's, okay? Good for you, Scorpio. I mean, come on now. If you're single, good for you, okay? But if you're not, I'm side-eyeing you. All right, <laughs> what's Scorpio's overall energy? Literally the magician. You can have anybody you want right now. You can have anything you want. You have the world at your hands, right? You have the wands energy, pentacle energy, cups energy, um sword energy you have you have everything at your fingertips it's just about action so it's like people are waiting to see if you're going to take action um this could be your friends even around you a lot of your friends want to be around you or these people want to see if you're going to take action on them i don't know if you have a lot of options then whatever but if you don't have a lot of options you're like what are you talking about you need to take action put yourself out there you'll have options you know stop being a hermit all right let's see what is your person, the person on your mind, whoever you're thinking about for February? What's their overall energy in February? Page of Swords. Lots of overthinking. Lots of watching you. Um, also, a little bit of defense on their energy, okay? They can be very defensive these days. 
Could be because they think that you have a lot of options. Even if you don't, they think that you do. I don't know. You're giving off this player energy a little bit. I don't know what it is, but someone's like, okay, you know, I feel like you're making someone who's very secure, nine of pentacles, feel insecure. And that's not like a dig at you. I feel like it's not, you're not, you're not trying to do that, but someone just with the page of swords feels a little insecure because page of swords is like the spying card why do people spy because they don't feel secure in knowing what's going on with the person that they're spying on right if you just felt if you could be secure and even if you thought wrong but you're secure in what you believe you feel like okay keep the positive energy you don't spy on someone so someone's not secure but they're the nine of pentacles so literally could be um a virgo doesn't have to be a virgo but someone who's very self-sufficient they usually aren't this spy but they are with you, okay? So that's interesting. So let's clarify these cards. So why are you the magician? Chariot, okay? Look at you on your phone, Scorpio. Like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me, Scorpio. Who are you texting? Who are you calling? Who are you swiping right on? What's going on on your phone? Chariot, right? It's like, and it's like, it doesn't matter. Whoever you want, whoever you are, have your eye on, whoever you talk to, you could have... That's okay. That's not kind of bad. I was going to say you you can have your way with them, but I never want to put out that energy where it's like, have your way with people. No, it's just like things are going to go in your favor. You're the magician. So whatever you want, you can manifest with those people. It just works in your favor. You're really like the bachelor or the bachelorette of the month. Okay. Hermit. Remember, what did I say? Okay. So when I called you a hermit earlier, I felt really bad. I was like, oh, dream. Don't be such a bitch. <laughs> but obviously I'm not being a bitch. So some of you guys are um, looking at me like, what are you talking about? I don't have options. I'm not a player. I'm not a player at all. But it's like you, if you put yourself out there, you would have all these options would show themselves to you. Or if you put yourself out there, you would see if you even stepped outside the house. Because what I think about a hermit is like someone who's like in their room, like me. <laughs> looking at four walls, right? But if you peeked your head out the window or if you took a step out of your front door you would see how many people are interested okay literally look you're gonna have to fight off your options you're like get the fuck back <laughs> you're like back up back up like as soon as you step foot out the door they're like me 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 pick me okay scorpio we get it okay we get it okay all right so why is your person the page of swords though Will of Fortune, someone senses changes in you. And the funny thing is that you're the hermit. So there's like, you're not really, maybe you've changed because you went within. You could have had like a little awakening, like a mini one in February, right? Because awakenings don't happen in such a short period, but maybe something has changed about you, but it has nothing to do with you being a player. You're really kind of like oblivious to all the energy the lover's energy that's coming towards you someone sees some changes in you so they're like wondering where these changing changes coming from are these positive changes for yes or no three pentacles they are but this is the problem too so if they're positive changes someone should just be happy but they're wondering if somebody is sparking that energy within you to make you they're like i'm the only one who should be you know helping Scorpio evolve into a better person but it's really like you're doing that by yourself but they're trying to attribute that to you working on yourself from someone else maybe you're inspired from someone else someone that you're dating they're like oh someone must have said something to Scorpio and they liked it and now they're doing that you know it's like no calm down you're you're um kind of assuming and you're very defensive so it's like just calm down Scorpio's doing this by themselves they're literally the hermit Scorpio is so much the hermit that they're over here looking at these messages like what do these people want you know but you could have the world at your fingertips but you're not really indulging in that energy someone does think you know that you are and you're changing because of other influences around you okay all right so now let's go deeper into these messages so that's just what you and this person are doing in your own general energy now let's see what the energy is towards each other yeah, by myself is playing right now by, oh, by par Partisan. Party? What's his name? Is that the guy who was dating um, Megan? I don't know. I don't know if it's the same guy. Partisan. Is that Party, the one that was dating Megan? The Aquarius? Megan's an Aquarius. I don't know what Party is, okay? But um, is he a Virgo? 
because I did bring a, I don't know what party is, but yeah, by myself, you're doing all of this by yourself. If he's a Virgo hermit energy, let's look it up real quick. We have the time and the energy to do that. So let's do it. We have the internet at our fingertips. So let's beat a magician and see. It's okay. Oh no, he's definitely not a, um, he, he is the guy who's dating Megan. He's definitely not a Virgo. Okay. Um, I think he could, could be a Sag, I think. No, he's a Capricorn. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, anyway, you've been doing this by yourself. That's the gist of the song. All right. So let's see what's going on here. All right, what is my Scorpio's energy towards their person on their mind, whoever they're connecting with in February? What's their energy towards them? The moon card? You're so mysterious, Scorp, <laughs> and it's really tripping this person out. What is this person's energy towards, um, Vir um, why am I calling it Virgo? Who is dealing with the Virgo? What is this person's, okay, what is, what is Scorpio's person's energy towards Scorpio, please, in February? Hierophant in reverse. Hmm. Almost like this person's playing hard to get with you because they think you're a bachelor or a bachelorette. They think you have so many people lined up at your door, which you do, Scorpio. I'm not going to put that past you. You really do, but you're not paying attention to these other options. You're kind of paying attention to this person. So it's like they want to act like they're non committal, but I feel like it's a petty tactic. Like, okay, the Hierophant in reverse. I really don't even want a relationship. And it's like, oh, you don't? You don't want a relationship with me? And they're like, nope. You can date whoever you want to because they already suspect that you are doing that. It's like someone already suspects that you're the two of pentacles. You're juggling them. So they're like, okay, let me just act like I don't want a commitment with Scorpio, even though they do. What's the mutual energy between these two in February? Seven of pentacles. I do see you guys building something nonetheless. So it's like, okay. Okay. So let's just talk about it. Let's get into it. And I'm not coming for your person either. We support both sides, but this is Scorpio's reading. So I'm going to read it from Scorpio's perspective. And if you're a cross watcher, you can go watch your sign that I did from your perspective. Okay. All right. So let's see why you're the moon card here. Why are you the moon card? You're so mysterious you are. Okay. Four swords. Because you've just been spending a lot of time to yourself. You actually really like your alone time as well. It gives you time and space to think clearly, have your own thoughts in your head. Queen of swords energy. And for that reason, it's like, okay, it's, and that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? For this person to feel that way because they may feel like, okay, you know, Scorpio hasn't really asked me to come over. They haven't asked to see me for dinner. Like what's going on? So this person automatically assumes, pay the swords energy, getting defensive. Oh my God, they're dealing with someone else. They're over me. But it's like, think outside the box, you know, maybe... It, it could be crazy, but maybe, you know, Scorpio is just kind of enjoying their solitude. And that doesn't mean that they don't enjoy you as a person and they don't want to be with you. They're just really enjoying their solitude right now. Being by yourself gives you um, great inspiration, Ace of Wands, okay? Being by yourself just brings a lot of creativity into you and sparks new ideas and makes you feel refreshed. You need that time to yourself, Scorpio. King of Cups doesn't mean that you don't have feelings for this person right now. It's just that's not the your main focus in your life. Maybe you are your main focus in your life, which everybody themselves should be their main focus. But, you know, I don't know. So someone feels like, you know, you got options, okay? And you do have options. Like, that's not a joke. That's not a lie. But I feel like that's not why you're being hermit energy, right? So what's the four swords? What's going on with the four swords for Scorps? Oops. All right, Queen of Wands. Just becoming very inspirational, you know? Um, like I said, your creativity sparks from this. You, you feel like being alone, you can really gather your thoughts gather your plans. You're planning out the rest of your year, setting goals for even uh, March and moving forward. And it makes you very motivated for the rest of the year. And you need that time to reset by yourself, right? Let's say so on for Scorps. Okay. Now, this is a time where you're going to be at a um, 
inspirational high and you're going to have lots of people wanting to date you or get to know you or move forward with you. And it's kind of like, I don't have time for these options. I don't have time for all these people. And I almost want to call these people randoms, not your person. Your person's not really in this mix because guess what your person is doing? The higher fin in reverse. So then they refuse to be in this mix of people who want your attention. They kind of are just acting like, I don't even know a Scorpio, you know? But you're like, I don't even have time for options right now because I'm focused on me. Okay, Ace of Wands. What's the King of Cups for my Scorps? Literally options is playing right now, okay? By Earth Gang featuring Wale. So it's like, literally, I'm not playing, guys. These, this is so crazy, the, um, the signs in this reading. So the King of Cups is the Queen of, Queen of Pentacles. Putting yourself first. That's what you're... And you're really focused on your goals because your goals are going to be um, something that you want to commit to that's going to bring you abundance down the line. And that's very important to you as your future these days. Okay, so cute. All right, let's see what's going on with your person. They're the higher friend in reverse. They're trying to make you feel like... It's like someone who really likes you, but they don't know, can't read your mind and they don't ask either. So it's like, I can't read Scorpio's mind and I'm not going to ask them what they're thinking about us. So I'm just going to assume Page of Swords and I feel like they don't want a commitment. So I'm going to beat them to the chase and say, I don't want a commitment, right? But that's not really how this person feels. What's the higher friend in reverse? <laughs> literally this is not what this person feels the ten of pentacles they really 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 want to be in a long-term situation with you and they do see you in their future and they're hoping that you feel the same way but they're acting very differently okay than that three of cups they're like let's just party let's just be friends you know are you dealing with the libra scorpio because that was libra's reading for sure um, but someone's like, let's just party. Let's just have fun. Let's just be carefree. Let's not take it too seriously. But literally, they want to take it seriously. Like, the Ten of Pentacles is not a joke. You know what I'm saying? What's the Ten of Pentacles here for this person? Six of Pentacles. They just want it to be equal, reciprocated energy. So they could feel like... As you've been focusing on yourself, you haven't been focusing on them. What someone needs to understand is... Someone does need some time to themselves to focus on themselves. That's important. And I can focus on you too. Maybe it's a matter of you and this person not really communicating. And this person is very secure. Let's say it again. This person's a very secure person, but they have been feeling very insecure when it comes to not like not knowing why you're being so to yourself. They feel like it has to do with them when really they're not really the reason, you know? What's the three of cups here? Oh shit. Okay. Queen of Cups, you know, if someone's like, okay, I just want to, let's just have fun. Because someone's trying to protect their feelings, Queen of Cups. They don't want this to backfire and then they be heartbroken. But it's like someone's not communicating how they feel to you. And therefore, you're not communicating what's really going on. So it's just kind of like, hmm. Now, I don't see you and this person like cutting cutting ties and just being um friends. Because we have the mutual energy as a seven of pentacles so obviously there's some foundations being laid down for you guys both i want to say to cross watcher if you're watching literally people have to focus on their goals to be able to set a long-term goal for the group conjoined right if i'm wanting to be with you i have to make sure i work hard now and set down these foundations and make sure i'm strict about it so that in our future we're set and that's just what it is since I'm kind of coming for the cost watcher, Scorpio, I have to say, you may want to communicate to those who really love you that you will be a little closed off for a while. Don't just kind of turn into a mystery. Don't just vanish off like a thief in the night because, you know, even, and this is the thing too, your person's so secure and independent. You didn't feel like you needed to communicate that, but communication is key. Okay. All right. So see, I didn't just come for you. I came for Scorp too. Scorp, I'm not really coming for you. We're just trying to lay down the law. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, so um, I'm going to, in the in the extended reading, we're going to get deeper into the Seven of Pentacles energy as your mutual energy. I'm going to see your person's current feelings for you, their next actions towards you in February, and the outcome in February. If you're interested, follow me in the link down below. But first, let's get the last words between you and your person in February. Spirit, give me the last words, please. Give me the last words, please, between... Um, 
between Scorpio and their person. Give me the last words, please, between Scorpio and their person in February. I'm pregnant. Surprise. Interesting. Huh. Who's pregnant? And it's a surprise. Mm, God. Okay. Now, wait a minute now. Okay. I don't know what to say about that. That may be for you. That may not be for you. I don't know. All right. All right. We have juggling partners here. Okay. So someone definitely feels like the other person is juggling partners. I don't feel like it's that deep yet. Okay. I don't feel like someone's just full-blown juggling. Spoiled brat, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna say who the spoiled brat is. That's up for you guys to decide. All right, under the bed. So something is not yet seen. Something has not yet revealed, okay. Um, I'm lying slash I lied. So someone definitely lied about something. So that could also make some trust issues arise. I don't know. We have vacation. So you and this person will be taking a little vacation together or, or you guys did and it's very significant to right now. Strictly straight, okay. We have October, Libra, or Scorpio. We have Pentacle Daddy, Pentacle Mommy. So someone definitely focus on their money, okay? Money's on their mind. Someone wants to be very stable. This could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? We have happy birthday. That's Aquarius. That could be Capricorn because Capricorn's birthday just passed and that could be Piscean or something happened around your birthday or this person's birthday that's significant in the storyline. We have great chemistry. That's always good. I never met anyone like you. That's cute. Okay, what else? We have gay. What the hell? So we have strictly straight. Now we have gay. We also had I'm lying slash I lied. All right. I don't know. Well, I'm just going to have to meet you guys in the extended. If you want to um, shop my store or book a personal reading, the link is in the description box down below. Um, follow my Instagram link in the description box down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in extended in your next video. All right. Bye-bye.